Hope you guys enjoyed that beautiful, beautiful hike through some of the slot canyons of the Paria Canyon Vermilion Cliffs Wilderness back in November of 2021. Although not as spectacular and grandiose as the uh, more touristy Antelope Canyons, um, Lower, Upper, and Canyon X, uh, this is the one for you if you want to take your time and explore in greater length the slot canyons. This is the hike for you. The wilderness is about 112,000 acres uh, starting from southern Utah making its way through Arizona and contains uh, acres of uh, rock amphitheater, boulders, sandstones, and uh, slot canyons. The wilderness also covers the famous Coyote Buttes north and south, and of course the highly coveted hike to the wave, which incidentally on uh, two separate trips over the course of seven days of sitting for the uh, lottery, I came up short at the BLM in Kanab. So for future reference, if any of you are able to secure a permit to the wave and have an extra spot for me, just give me a little notice and I'll be on my way. This trail is called the Wire Pass to Buckskin Gulch and it's about a five and a half mile out and back it usually takes people between two and a half to three hours uh, to do the trail from highway 89 in utah you take about an eight to nine mile dirt road uh, red clay dirt road by the way down to the main parking lot which uh, incidentally is the same parking lot for the hike to the wave i was very very fortunate because um, the road was dirt dry and I only had a two-wheel Kia 
uh, not exactly a high clearance but if you're fortunate to have completely dry you should be able to make the drive without any problems however if there's any indication of uh, mud and rain in the forecast you definitely need a much higher clearance four-wheel drive vehicle one of the reason I chose this hike was because it's probably the only one in the area whereby you can do a great deal of the slot canyons on your own without a guide but the second reason was I was hoping to run into some similar rock formation as the wave because it's so close by and it's part of the same trail actually and as luck would have it I came across a small section of the trail that looked very similar only on a much much smaller scale as the wave rock formation so that was actually a, a nice treat I actually went uh, about a mile and a half beyond the suggested uh, trail and explored a little bit further of the canyons and as you can see from my GPS uh, because I was at many points inside the canyon uh, GPS satellite just went awry but you can actually take this hike miles and miles deeper into the wilderness and meet up with the Paria River which winds down for miles and miles and miles and empties into the um, Colorado River which incidentally on the same trip I was able to kayak so if you get a chance to check out that video, uh, check the description below. So yeah, if you guys are looking to do an extended uh, hike of uh, the Slot Canyons, uh, this is the one to do. And you will love the fact that you're practically there by yourself. So if you're in the area, you've got tons of miles to explore uh, the Slot Canyons. As part of the same trip, I was able to do Upper Antelope Canyon as well as Canyon X. Uh, I've got the description for the video in Canyon X uh, in the description below. So if you get a chance, check it out. And as always, I appreciate all the likes, share, and subscribe. If you've got any comments or feedback, leave them below. And I will catch you guys out on the next trail.